Hola mis amores. As a resin artist, there are only so many figurines one can have. Don't get me wrong, I love home decor, but if I can have something useful besides beautiful, then it's a double whammy for me. This mold is from Boo and Nicole, and their molds are stunning. The quality is perfection. This mold, in particular, is an incense holder, and not just any incense holder. It comes with three different parts and it's in case to hold the two top parts together. You're probably wondering what it is. It's a Mini Cooper. <laughs> the iconic car which we still love today. Even Mr Bean loves it. <laughs> I want a grey silver one for this cute Mini Cooper. I'll be using black from Homeware Designs and this silver makeup pigment. Will it work? We will soon find out. I have my powder ready. And I'm using Just For You Online EcoPore, which by the way, you can now purchase in the States. They also have different starter packs that also come with pigments and the bloom finish. I will leave a link in the description box so you can check them out. Pour your water into your powder and mix thoroughly. Remember, for every 100 grams of powder, it's 35 grams of water. Once you have mixed it all up, making sure there are no lumps, it's time to add your pigment. I'm only adding a dab of black first till I get the desired colour. I'm mixing it up as I want it all a monotone colour, no streaks. It's always best to add your pigment quantity slowly as you can't take it back if you add too much. Okay, yes, you could add some white, but who wants to waste pigment? <laughs> Also, a good thing to remember is that when EcoPore dries, the colour will be a few shades lighter, but just a little bit. Now I'm going to add the silver makeup pigment. Oops, that wasn't what I wanted. <laughs> I'm going heavy with the silver. My advice is that you don't have a fan blowing in your face at the same time. <laughs> it's literally all over me. I went to the bathroom and looked into the mirror. I look like Edward from Twilight. <laughs> I'm glowing. <laughs> I'm tempted to go and have a coffee at my local to see their reaction. <laughs> okay, I'm ready to pour this delight. I'm only pouring about a third. Tap and squidge the mould. With a brush, I spread some mixture all over the sides. This will help with the bubbles. Now to put it on the top mould, which will make this piece hollow. Add the casing which will hold it together. Add mixture to the base mould too. I added a bit more to the main piece which I shouldn't have as it was already full and it only means more cleaning up later. Don't fuffle too much as it's already starting to cure. I'm slow. Yes, the video has been speeded up so trust me, I'm slow. Shake your moulds and leave them to cure. For the purpose of the video, I'm going to be a bit naughty and demold them. It's best to leave big pieces like these for about two to four hours before demolding. Yay! The silver has stuck to the EcoPore. I just love the feel of EcoPore. It's so silky and soft. It's really easy to clean up. Just snap off the overflow and then sand it down. I have a lot to clean up on this one. <laughs> My fault for adding too much. Make sure to clean up the airway holes, which are really easy to do. You can use a scalpel, a stick. These airways are necessary to let the incense smoke come through. That's another good thing about EcoPore. It's heat resistant and you can use real candles. I've left these to dry overnight and I have already sanded them down. I'm going to try this new product. I got it from Boo and Nicole, which is a seal and shine kit. I want this piece to have a little sheen instead of a matte finish. This box brings an instruction manual, a spoon, such lovely packaging. It comes with four pearl pigments, pink, green, white and gold. 
They actually have different packs with different colors and the gloss sealant. I will leave everything I'm using in the description box with discount codes too. The instructions are perfect for dummies like me. They come with pictures. <laughs> Make sure to shake the gloss. I'm going to add a small amount into a disposable mini cup and with a brush, cover the whole area of both pieces. You can paint as many coats as you want. I just did two. The more coats you add, the glossier it will be. So far, I'm really happy with the, how this is turning out. It looks like it's made out of stone. Just want to say big thank you to all my subscribers. I love reading your comments. For the finishing touches, I used a silver chrome marker for the embellishments and the windows. But I'm not entirely happy how the windows look, so I need to use something else. I have these coloured UV resins from Lightwish. This is the diamond pack. I actually have them all. Shh. I love these UV resins. I'm going to use the white one. I'll leave a link so that you can find them online. With the help of a disposable brush, I'm going to add a small amount to the windows. You only need a small amount as we want a thin layer. Use a brush or a silicone tool to spread it out evenly and then cure it with a torch. I did it to all the windows. And then once I completed it, I zapped it under my UV lamp for a good three minutes. Keep watching for the end results. Toodles! Mm -hmm.